let's focus in on Charlotte. We really want to make sure she stands out, not the whole thing. Give a little depth to the to the shot. So I'm going to add another layer. Go back to my mat tools. Go to shape. Now I'm going to take advantage of these quick shapes. So there's freehand here. There's rectangle, ellipse, and edge. That's just a way to start. And then there's quick shapes that come with the program that have box, corner, upper corners, uh, edges, bottom left, right, top spotlights and vignette and the best part is you can customize these as well so if you want to make a star for some reason you can draw a star and you can save this just right here and customize quick shape presets and you can save your own there's so much just customizable all this stuff is customizable all of these color operators are customizable each layer can be changed so if i want layer five to have soften and sharpen and i want layer four not to i i could do that um, or I can say every layer should have all you know these operators to start with. Um, it's really up to you. Um, let's go back to this. So shape, I'm going to use the vignette. And as you can see when I do that, it's your typical vignette. If I color the outside, it's going to darken everything out here. But I'm not going to use it really for that. I'm going to use it to, to kind of do the opposite. So I'm going to just kind of shape it right here, right in the middle with Charlotte. I might take a little bit of that feather off because it's a little too much. And then when I go back to my operators, now I'm going to use the outside. I haven't used the outside yet with you guys. So I don't want to color what's inside. I want to darken everything outside. Turn off my mat. And I'm going to go to video grade on the outside and just bring that down. So right there. Boom. Now we're, now we're definitely focused in on her. We're not looking at the background so much anymore. Um, and lastly, we want to focus in on this blue piece of clothing that's falling out of our hand. So once again, another layer. I'm going to go back to our mat operators. I'm going to use a D key this time. This is a three-dimensional keyer. This thing is so easy to use, so quick, and so good. You're definitely going to want to be using this probably more than anything else. So I'm turn my mat on, and I'm just going to swipe. That's it. I'm done. Now, obviously, I have bleed over here, which I'll take care of in a second, but that's how quick it is. And if I overswipe, let's say I accidentally grabbed her robe, which obviously now is grabbing almost everything in her room, I could just hit shift and swipe that again, and it takes that up. So now I'm back to just this. And you just keep adding if you want. You can tweak it a little bit. Hmm, I just got too much there. So let's go with that. Now I have bleed over here, so obviously I don't want that. I'm going to also feather this mat out a little bit using the edit tool. The edit, uh, mat tool um so we want to shape this out so i'm just going to basically add a shape to it again and i know i know it moves that's why i did this shape so there you go now i'm excluding everything up there feather this out just a little bit now i need to make sure that this stays within the shape so all right so we fell out of, fell out there and we're back in about there so i'm going to add a keyframe here and another one about here because this is pretty good. Now we have to keyframe this shape. So here, I'm going to kind of do this. Once you add one keyframe too, by the way, it's, it's pretty interactive. So you don't have to keep actually hitting the keyframe button. Do this and close this off a little bit. So that's pretty good right there. Now I'm going to go back to my color operators, turn my mat off. Now I have control over that piece of clothing. So I'm just going to brighten it up and oversaturate it. Now I'm, I'm definitely going overboard for this demonstration because I would never make it that neon, but you get the idea that you're definitely seeing that piece of clothing now, <laughs> which is really nice. And as you could probably guess, we are in real time. So think about how much we just did right there. You know, if we step back in here, we just did on video on layer one, we did film grade layer two, we did a video grade layer three, we pulled a key on the highlights and keyed out the windows and brought them down. Layer four, same thing only on this window. Layer five, we did a vignette and darken the outside. And layer six, we highlighted this piece of clothing with a keyframe shape and a D key. All that's real time. That's pretty amazing.